in 10 years. Trust doesn't come easy. Trust has to be earned. But, but that happens when you develop a good working relationship between board and staff. It's also important to keep board relationships in tune with meetings that are cordial, well-planned, and chaired effectively. If you're on a board where people aren't clear about what their roles are um, and there's a lot of disagreement, should we say, um, it's a very frustrating experience and that's when you tend to lose interest. You do want to get members to come and how do you get them to come? By, by having meetings for which uh, the board is well prepared, for which the members themselves are prepared, they know what they're going to be asked to decide, uh, what their contribution is going to be. They're well organized, they don't run till 2 o'clock in the morning, um, they don't look like question period in the House of Commons. We obviously don't want to have conflict with everything we discuss, but we want to generate discussion when it's appropriate and encourage discussion and recognize that a disagreement isn't a bad thing and it has to be supportive. Being able to rely on each other and, and know that your, your opinion matters helps the board and makes everyone feel like they're a part of a team. Don't have an agenda of 75 points, and I think it's important people have fun. So if you are able to organize something that the people make the work, but also in with fun, with you know, you go there, you're happy to go there, you're happy to go to a meeting, the meeting will be short, it will be interesting. If you can get that experience happening for the members that go to meetings, then the members that perhaps haven't been going, they're going to hear about that. They're going to, and with a bit of luck, they'll start thinking, well, maybe I'm missing something. It's not enough to say that these are worthy objectives. We have to be delivering tools and uh, education that, that reinforces the message. Good leaders are made, not born, and everybody can develop strong leadership skills. And it's not just the board, I think it starts with the members themselves, because we have to remember the co-op is the members, and if we don't educate at the bottom, we can't expect to have a good board at the top. If your co-op's having a board of directors training session, then open it up to some of the other members. Let them at least observe it so that they can see what's involved. If it's kind of board basics, then let them in. Encouraging members to attend regional conferences, making sure that they too know what good governance is by making publications and resources available to them. We need to be able to put that message in some format that clearly gets across to our membership in a simple way in addition to all the other tools that federations have to use. Good communication. It's vital to your role as a decision maker elected by the membership. As a board member, you're entrusted to operate in an open, transparent way. The responsibility of a board member is to make the right decision and then to communicate the decision and the thinking processes and, and information that went into making that decision to the membership. I mean, a board is like a city council. A board represents the members and how can they make decisions fully informed without talking to the members. Sometimes it's not always giving good news. I mean, sometimes it's giving news to the members that isn't as good as you'd like it to be. But as long as you're honest about how you're doing it, as long as you give the members the facts, um, then that's the best you can do as a director. I mean, and in fact, it's your duty. A very big part for me of the director's responsibility is to communicate back to the members. But if that's happening and the directors in the first place are making the right decisions for the co-op, then absolutely it rubs off and you'll get an engaged community and people who will learn from, from what they see and want to take their part in the co-op's governance. But if all they see is, is fighting and backbiting, then they're going to shut their doors on that and you're going to have problems getting any governance at all. The members that live in the housing co-op also have a responsibility so when members are asked to elect the board of directors, they should ask the candidates good questions, why they want to run for the board, and take their responsibility um, of electing and choosing their board members seriously. Good governance is everyone's responsibility. It's the key to creating a strong, vibrant cooperative and to preserving our communities for future generations. The leaders in the movement are really recognizing at this point that there needs to be a drastic change. We have hit the point where we need to start replenishing the pool. Really engaging with younger people to start taking on uh, more active roles. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that the co-op housing movement is at a crossroads. Um, 
Well, we're at a point now where we can really start to see that the end of our relationship with government, or at least our present relationship with government, is in sight. Every co-op today that's operating is getting ready to operate without any safety net or assistance from government. And every co-op operating today is an argument for a new co-op housing program. And whether that co-op is a good or a bad argument for a new co-op housing program depends on whether they've mastered the art of governments. What's made co-op housing strong is the fact that it is a movement. And we want to keep that going because that adds tremendous community value. When you hear voices raised well, that more co-ops should be developed, who are those voices? Those are people who are already well housed in housing co-ops. They're not asking for more co-op housing for themselves. They're asking that that experience can be shared by more Canadians, which I think is, is so worthy. And it just gives you an indication why when we work and act together, we're, we're stronger, we're more vocal, we're more purposeful. We're evolving, we're growing. Let's do it together and let's come on with it.